Fresh start uh, for everyone really today. Andrew Strauss will be leading England, both England and the West Indies after disappointing winters. Come to Lords looking for better things and looking for clear skies as well. Michael Vaughan won't be playing, that much we do know. Underway. Into swing. Good morning, Michael Holden. Good morning, Athos. That's not why you want to bowl to Andrew Strauss. Too short. And no great pace or venom either. And Strauss had plenty of time to work that ball away in front of square. First boundary. Nicely played, nicely struck, and four more. Swung away very easily. No problems at all there, had uh, all the time he needed. Gone! <laughs> Having said, he's set for a score. The very next ball, a good full-length delivery, Strauss on the drive and squirting the ball backward a point. First wicket for the West Indies, Strauss has gone. Good change of attack from the West Indies after lunch. Should be Alistair Cook's 50. Not sure whether the ball will go all the way, it won't. But uh, Cook will come back for an all-run four. And that will take him two to an excellent uh, half century. Well, it's a fantastic shot to bring up the 50 from Alistair Cook. It's not the easiest of shot that on drive. And basically went wider. Edged and gone. Really good delivery. Late movement away from Owey Shah, just squaring him up at the crease. And the West Indies have their second wicket. Quick distance between where the ball hits and the stumps. That's four. Short, wide, bang, four. That's four. We're just seeing that he hadn't conceded too many boundaries. Just one in his first 12 overs. Now he has given two boundaries in that, his 13th over. Gone, yes, it took two or three attempts at extra cover, but Corey Collymore has his man, it's a big wicket, the end of Kevin Peterson, looking to drive expansively through the offside. He hit it hard, but Devon Smith, in the end, took a good catch. Giving everyone encouragement. That's four. You get it through there, it's gone. There it is, Alistair Cook has got his hundred. Fifth Test Match 100 for Alistair Cook in what seems a very short space of time. He started well with 100 in his first Test Match. He's done it three times now against uh, different nations, against India, against Pakistan and now against the West Indies. He's played his first Test Match against them all and got 100. Runs and four of them. Two men out there, but that was uh, perfectly timed by Paul Collingwood. Short and wide and gone. They've deserved that wicket. Alistair Cook has slashed the backward point. And Bravo takes the catch. Field well. Tucked away very sweetly. Up it goes uh, towards the grandstand uh, very easily. Fifty for Paul Collingwood. Simple single, uh, an acknowledgement from the batsman. Firmly struck, just past the bowler and just past mid off as well. That's a lovely shot. Waited for the ball because it had just start to swing on him. Played it late. And knocked it away down the hill for four. Lovely stroke. Good shots like that. Well, this is as good as it comes from uh, Ian Bell. Perhaps they'll get a little bit frustrated. That's no, a straight short down ball. short. Look at that, Mikey. There yeah, we go. When, when you get a little bit frustrated as a bowler because you're doing the right thing but you're not getting the results. You then think to yourself, maybe I need to do something a little bit differently. Well, that's going to bring his 50 up for Ian Bell, but it's not the shot he would have wanted to do. He's looking to hit that through the covers. It's a little wide, but he gets away with it. 
Well, it's edged, it's away through the gap, it will bring him four and it will bring him his hundred. Paul Collingwood was uh, punching the air soon after he left the outside edge of his bat. I wouldn't be too keen for people to be questioning my approach to the game as Collingwood helps himself one bounce over long on. Bowled him finally, a little bit of success for Dwayne Bravo and he's deserved that, he's bowled an excellent line, he's kept going and finally Paul Collingwood's innings comes to a close, it was a delivery that broke back sharply. Oh, he's hit it in the air but it's safe, the goal away I think as well, he's pretty close to the middle of the bat. Oh, Bravo threw himself at it, couldn't reach it. Good shot, nicely played. Changed angle of delivery there. Jones header went a little wider on the crease. That prior is ready and waiting. Even better. That's as good as it gets. And uh, what a way to bring up a maiden test match half century for Matt Pryor. It's an innings full of gorgeous strokes just like that. Well, he's been good fun. Lovely to watch from Pryor. Given serious treatment, had plenty of time. It's a slow pitch, so I'm not happy with the delivery. There he goes. Arms raised, a huge cheer from Matt Pryor. And with that cut to the boundary, he becomes the 17th player to score a, a Test match 100 on debut for England. it though and a sixth test match hundred for Ian Bell he likes this position at number six it's his fourth hundred in this position and after a year in which he's played solidly but not gone on to get big scores he's just removed a little monkey from his back today smashed away through the leg side party time Pryor moves on to 126 142 overs have been bowled 553 for five, England. Andrew Strauss has uh, made the declaration early this morning. No doubt he didn't give the West Indies much more than the mandatory ten minutes. Good start from Matthew Hoggard, who became a father overnight. Pitched up, smashed down the ground. Well, it doesn't matter if he is, he's gone. That's the first wicket. He's Yorkton Piscale. He's looking to attack, I think. And he's cream bowled. It's a big wicket. Close, that much we know. Nicely played. Away through the gap in the covers. Smashed through the offside. A, a terrific stroke from Devon Smith. It was a long half volley. And got the treatment. brought into the attack it seemed a fairly innocuous delivery and Devon Smith can't quite believe he's missed it Get on off the mark one bad delivery in the over from Panasar and it gets punished another good shot terrific stroke this one wasn't a particularly bad delivery Close, that's the exact line, and yes, he's got him. Ball straight, get LBW's well bowled Monty Panasar. Ah! We're asking the same question again and getting the same answer. Well, Ganga won't get his 50, Panasar does get his third wicket. These are mighty close, it's a real tough decision to have to make for umpires. Cracking shot, beautiful shot uh, from Renata Morton. Real flourish about that. Push down the ah! ground. It burn. It's another good shout. And it's out. He's just you cannot thrust your pad in the line of the ball. You've got to be looking to play. With that delivery, a race away down the hill there. No one's going to catch that. 
And a, a loosener after tea is greeted with a fierce square cut from Chanderpaul. Just a bit of indrift, and that's beautiful from Bravo. Straight down the ground, four runs. Hence, even more reason to play shots like that. Brilliant from Bravo. Bravo's taken on the challenge. That could go all the way. Well played, Dwayne Bravo. 50. Fifth to number seven for Dwayne Bravo in test of match cricket. Team certainly needed this half century. It needed this partnership between himself and Sugar Ryan Chandra Paul. Short ball. Pulled away straight to that man. Has it carried? Yes, it has. England claim the catch. Bravo's fallen in the trap. Well, that's a lovely shot. Just stood there, the simplest of movements, really. That's a good shot. That brings up his half centre as well, Dinesh Ramdin. He's not a bad player. In fact, he's a good player. You remember this, Lords. Edged and caught. Finally, Plunkett gets one in the right area. Good catch of that. Paul Collingwood's the man. Second slip. Takes a very, very good catch. Giving spinners more LBWs. That could be very close. He's gone, he's given him. The only thing was hyped, and Panasar has five wickets at Lords. Well, this just looked out, didn't it? A total misjudgment. Chandra Paul. Good shot there, too. Swung away. No one protecting that part of the boundary. That's a good catch. Real good catch there. Harmison's got the wicket he so desperately needed. Maybe not quite in the fashion he wanted. <laughs> Fantastic shot. That's an extraordinary shot from Darren Powell. Which foot snares back foot. Well, I think I think it's a bit of bore, but it does show what a well-directed bumper can do to a tail ender. <laughs> gotta be close, gotta be close, it's close enough. Well, Monty Panasar is the man who's finished it all off. West Indies bowled out now for 437. He's picked up six. Five of them uh, to LBW decisions. That equals a world record. But let's see. What a start. <laughs> Nobody there either. Great shot, super shot from Strauss. Two extra cover, four. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Terrific delivery. That's the area to Strauss. Making play, looking to drive, looking to turn the bat. Outside edge, good catch. Well, that's the usual story whenever you go short and wide. That is the hook. Bottom hand wants a bat. Well, are they going up? Yes, they are. And Rudy, his left hand goes up as well. Now, let's watch the glove. There you go. Hits it hard. It's nicely played. It's time now. Absolutely gorgeous. Now. Another good shot. Got a very good bat on that. And uh, even the man in the deep is uh, powerless to do anything about it. Fifty. Run machine, now to cook. 50 from 72 deliveries, 8 fours. There you go. Peterson usually know when the time to come and attack. And he's choosing the right moment here, Kevin Peterson. There's the edge, I think, yes. Alistair Cook doesn't wait. Corey Collimore's got his third wicket.
striking shot. Brilliant, Kevin Peterson. Impression or impersonation of Kevin Peterson. Who stands still this time, but still gets another boundary. Classic cover drive from a tall Englishman. 10.50 for Kevin Peterson. Played quite beautifully. Classic cover drive. Another four to Peterson. Good shot. It's a lovely shot. And again, it's the reach that's absolutely outstanding here. He's a big, tall man, Kevin Peterson. Right back down there to deep backward square for the single and of course that brings up the three figures for Kevin Peterson. Missed out in the first innings, but not in the second. Straight to the man at deep backward square and this time it's taken. It's hit down towards third man, straight to third man. An easy chance, Bravo getting some easy wickets. It's a good way to get off the mark. Gets the left leg out of the way and smacks Bravo through the covers for four. Bravo looked bemused. Up in the air, this could well be out. It's trying to go all the way. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. Four, six. Reverse sweep. That must be very, very close. Surely, yes, out. But this was absolutely plumb. Hits him in front of middle and off, and that would have gone on to hit middle stump. That will be out as well. That's well bowled from Chris Gale. Quicker ball, quicker ball, and then tossed up. Swung away, mid off deep, but that's gone wide of him. And it's gone away for four. Gone up in the air, gone to th man on the offside. Remarkably, Gale celebrates. Matt Pryor's little cameo comes to an end. He's gone for 20, what, 21. Chris Gale has three wickets. Gone for Panasar's in the run blotter here. Picks up a couple. Well, there it is. Well, a poor start. Loosen it, genuine loosener wide. Beautiful shot through the offside and assured shot. Good delivery. Ganga just caressing that through the offside. Well, typical Chris Gale doesn't have to move his feet too much for those, and that is what he likes, to stand and deliver good eyes and good hands. Certainly stand and deliver. A couple of bounces over the top of Monty Panasar. It looks as if he's in the groove, he's in the mood. He's looking to score boundaries. Up and over. And a long way over. No one down to third man, so uh, Chris Gale enjoys that one. Uh, eventually, the umpires have uh, conspired. And they've decided that uh, the line has indeed got too bad.